What up everybody, my name is Gus and welcome back to the VR Vault. So today I'm gonna to be looking at an early access game that until just about 20 minutes ago, I didn't even realize was an early access game. Uh, it's so polished and it's so much fun and it is called Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. Um, you've probably heard of it, it was out on, it's been out on Vive for a little while now. And, um, and it's a really cool game, it's very well optimized for Oculus Touch which is what I've been using. And uh, basically it's just a gun simulation game that uh, accurately simulates all different aspects of a shit ton of different weapons. Uh, you got pistols, assault rifles. Honestly, I'll probably throw some mixed reality footage uh, right now. I don't know, you'll probably be seeing that. Also, that's pretty freaking sweet, right? Uh, I'm hopefully gonna be able to get that system a little bit down uh, more easily, so I'll be able to put more of it into future videos. But um, it's, it's easier to see what I'm talking about than just to blabber about it. So I'm gonna hop into some gameplay now and uh, I will see you guys on the other side. All right, everybody, welcome to Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. So uh, this one right here is the indoor range, but there are actually a lot of different uh, gun ranges that you can choose from in this game. And uh, basically what this is all about is uh, I, you have your own freaking arsenal. And basically, what horseshoes, hot dogs, and hand, or hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades is all about is about really trying to simulate all the different moving pieces of each weapon. And it does a really good job of that. And the fact that you can pretty much touch everything in uh, ways that I'm going to demonstrate in a little bit uh, is actually freaking awesome. And I find myself just pumping way more time than I expect into this game just because I, I, they keep adding new guns. Uh, there's a lot of actually support uh, for this game from the developers, uh, which is it's ongoing and they keep adding new stuff all the time. And, uh, and so I keep jumping back in and just finding new stuff to uh, kind of mess around with, which is really fun. Um, so yeah, so as you saw there, uh, I pulled back the, uh, I don't know, what the stock? I don't know. I don't know what the exact names of all this stuff is. So if you're a gun nut more than me, uh, forgive me. But yeah, basically you cock back the shotgun and uh, it's loaded. And you can take each shell, you have to take each shell, and uh, load it in the bottom as you would a normal shotgun. Now oh, it's only got three shots in it. So let's do that. Uh, as you can see as well, I'm in a very high-tech uh, computer world, so I can just pretty much do whatever I want. Uh, let's do a distance of uh, seven meters. All right, yeah, let's go there. And then my target will simply wander over there, and I can take aim at it. Boom, one, reload, two, and three. Let's just finish this last one up just for good measure. Why not? Uh, boom, four. And uh, yeah, throw that in the trash, because whatever, I'll just spawn another one if I need it. Let's uh, recall that real quick. Let's see how I did. I got a lot of hits. That's the last, I don't know, that's the most recent one. Uh, pretty pretty dead to me, it looks pretty dead to me. Anyways, um, so I'm just gonna tap this and get a new one. Uh, so yeah, let me show you a little bit of the arsenal right now. So uh, let's throw you in the trash. Oh, by the way, I'm using, uh, as if you couldn't already tell, I'm using the Oculus, uh, Oculus Rift and Touch, um, but I'm also using like a, an experimental, uh, like room scale kind of deal. I only have two um, cameras, so I have one over there and one over here. Um, if you're using the regular desk setup, uh, you're not gonna be able to like reach over and grab stuff on the floor for obvious reasons. Um, so definitely, uh, I would probably not recommend this game if you're using it in that way. Um, but if you're trying out an experimental thing or you have like more than two sensors, I'd say this game is definitely worth checking out. So, as you can see, oh geez, just punch the wall. What a novice mistake. All right, let's go that way. Come on, come on, come on, what's going on? All right, do I have to put this down? There we go, all right. So yeah, so as you can see, uh, there are an absolute metric shit ton of guns and attachments to use. So as you can see, we got pistols, shotguns, SMGs, support, uh, this freaking giant chain gun. Like you have so much to choose from and each of them have their own unique uh, like things that they have to do. Like all these guns are represented so accurately within this that it's just so much fun to play around with them all. So you got your pistols, you got your revolvers, machine pistols. You got your uh, couple of different pages of these pistols. Like there's so much to choose from. You got old old school guns like the like that one. I don't know what that gun's called. But um, yeah, so basically I got the AUG right here. And uh, so as you spawn your weapons, different uh, attachments will appear. And uh, we're just gonna load it up. So I'm gonna put that in there. And it's like, look at that, it's pretty accurate. And it, it, it really, like, you can't just automatically teleport to that. And that tactile, uh, that tactileness 
the tactility, I don't know how to pronounce that word, uh, but just the fact that you can interact with everything is super refreshing and it makes this game really uh, compelling and it keeps me coming back for a lot more. So I'm gonna get my scope prepared. The scope's are really cool too. I'll show you a sniper in a little bit. Um, get the uh, laser dot going right there as well. And uh, we're loaded up. Let's see what this bad, oh, scheisse. Let's see what this bad boy can do. All right, so this, as you can see the, uh, oh, Oculus is not liking me moving around too much. I'm getting my third sensor in a little bit, so this definitely will work better when that arrives. Um, but until then, let's take this out to about 30 meters now. Let's go 10 meters. Go to distance. Also, did you guys enjoy that, uh, that little mixed reality bit at the beginning? Or maybe I haven't put it in the video yet. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but uh, yeah, this game is really cool for mixed reality too, because you can just pretend like you're actually shooting weapons. It looks a little bit weird because obviously the guns have recoil, but uh, controllers don't have recoil. And, um, but yeah, so let's see what we can do. Oh wait, just kidding, forgot to turn the safety off. Like, they thought of everything. And the way that each of these things work, you can grab uh, the handle and stuff and use two hands to aim. Uh, it just, it's off, boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's just get a couple of rounds in there. I think the recoil is pretty accurate as well. I can't hear anything. Can't even hear myself talk. But uh, but yeah, this uh, just just the the tactility of it all and being able to interact with it is really entertaining. And oh yeah, that's a pretty good shot right there. That's a pretty good one. Let's return back. Womp. And uh, this came personally. I, I don't know. Some people there's a debate going on in VR right now about. Uh, whether or not it's better to make uh, reloading in like a multiplayer game or a multiplayer setting uh, like easier to do or more realistic. And I'm definitely a proponent of the more realistic. Like I think, oops, come on, rift, pull it together. All right. So, but yeah, I think like actually being able to do these different things is why VR is so cool. Being able to reach over and grab a clip and, and fill, all right, watch, check this out. I'm, I'll send this out real quick. See what we can do with the pistol. But yeah, there are so many different weapons to choose from. And uh, it just it's just a lot of content. And I really think uh, the developers are putting a lot of time. They actually just did this, uh, this meat miss. So basically every day of Christmas, they, um, they, they added a new weapon to the game. So you're able to, you're able to come in every day and see something new. Uh, there's a new gun or a new uh, attachment of some sort. And basically, That was pretty inaccurate. Uh, let's check that out. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, I'm garbage. And also, it's not just even guns. There's a little. Uh, there's a couple different modes that you can do too. It's really cool. Um, I'll show you those in a little bit as well. Let's get a little bit of this sniper rifle here, so I can show that to you guys. All right. So I'm trying to get this room situated. Uh, oh, get back your hands. Come on. Come on. Oh my God. So yeah. So as you can see, it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. But uh, it definitely gets the job done. Uh, once I again, once I have the third uh, sensor, should be good to go. But just stuff like this, like the little stuff that you wouldn't expect. Like th this game has a lot of polish and it's a lot of a lot of love and care put into it to make it actually feel like a simulation. Like to make it feel like you are actually at a gun range. Like you can load individual bullets into the clips if you so desire, or you can just have the clip spawn for you. Like, it's whatever you want, and how, how interactive you want to make it, or how you just want to shoot guns, it's got something for you as well. So let's get that cartridge in there. Come on. There we go. Let's get a different suite. All right, cool. So how far should we take this sniper? That's a question. Um, let's do it, what, 15? Let's see how accurate we can do with 15. Boom. All right, and then, like, like you would imagine, uh, you got to cock, pull the stock back. I think that's the stock. No, this is the stock. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know guns, but yeah, like look at that. The scope is pretty accurate. And if the safety's not on, is it gonna have a safety? Uh, boom. That seemed pretty dead on to me. Hell yeah. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, I, I, whoops. See, I'm not shooting a machine gun here. And it's just <laughs> that little stuff. I don't know. I, I just absolutely love that stuff. If you're in the boat of I just want to be able to like shoot guns and not have to worry about reloading or anything. But I think this implemented in like some sort of multiplayer scenario, I guess Onward is kind of the closest to that at this point. But, um, uh, stop talking so much. But I think this, this kind of like reloading and stuff, maybe not bull each bullet individually, but I think that adds so much to a VR experience. And that's, that's kind of why I do VR, you know? Like you, you gotta feel immersed, you gotta feel like you're, you're actually doing stuff and like interacting with these different things. So this game definitely does that in an interesting way. Like look at that, you gotta load all those up, close the thing, take a couple of shots. 
So I, I think this is sweet. Um, I'm gonna show you guys real quick a couple of the uh, more odd activities, I guess you could say. It's gonna load real quick. So height adjust, that's all right. Let's get this going. And it's just random shit like this. Like this game doesn't take itself too seriously, even though it is technically a game about guns. Uh, they always, they always like to say they, they like to keep it, keep it uh, family friendly, and and they, they like to do things kind of tongue in cheek because they have freaking grenade ski balls. So let's see what we can do here. Womp. Oh, that was a shitty throw. Jesus, that was pretty bad. All right, number two. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's a keeper. Oh yeah, that was a pretty, pretty, pretty damn good one. It'll keep score, and it's just little, little stuff like this that, that that really adds to the longevity of the game. And again, the fact that they're still supporting it and still, uh, oh yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> that was like my best throw of all time. Uh, there's just, there's a lot for everybody, and I think it's a really, really like solid and well polished package. And I don't know, maybe if you're not into simulations, you'll think differently. But uh, I don't know. I think just in terms of purely being able to interact with everything, the only thing that comes close to this is like Job Simulator, I would say. So, with, oh, did that go? Can't see, smoke clears now. One more grenade and then I'll show you guys the Gunnasium. And, uh, but yeah, there's just, just the variety is really, really cool and I definitely think it's worth, you guys, oh shit! Jesus, what a waste, I can't believe it. All right, whatever. So that, that, that's that, that's the grenade ski ball. And uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of different odds and ends like that, which are kind of entertaining. Um, what do I want to do? Gunnasium, there we go. So yeah, and this, this is a pretty interesting little scenario that you're in and you, okay, let's see. Pistol, load her up, chunk. Nice, pocket that. Get a couple of different clips, all right. Bada boom, bada boom. All right, I think we're ready to go. Safety's off, let's do it. And basically you gotta, oh, you gotta hold, actually I'm gonna pocket that so I can be more maneuverable. But yeah, you just gotta go act like a monkey for a while and try to tag all these different objectives, or not objectives, these like buttons, I guess. And uh, this is actually a pretty big work, pretty decent workout, your arms are up. Not, not, not particularly like the climb low, oh, did I drop that thing? That's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh, all right, I don't know if I can touch the floor. I don't know if I'm allowed. Oh, we're losing tracking. The tracking's going down. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez, all right, so I was, <laughs> I was at one point a solid proponent that this works quite well with the Rift, but the Rift does not want to cooperate today. Come on, you motherfucker. <gasps> yes, got it. Okay, that was quite the effort. Boom. And yeah, so you're basically just wandering around, climbing around, clambering and shambling. And shooting all these different objects. Sweet, got him. Oh, we're out of ammo, floating in the air. Who gives a damn? And yeah, so, and there's a, a lot of the time there's leaderboards. So for all the different like, I guess challenges you could call them, not really challenges, but they're just like activities. That's a better word for it. Um, for all these activities, there's like leaderboards and stuff, so you can see how you stack up in terms of shooting. So if you're like at a gun range, there are some ones, oh, what the fuck? Oh, I touched this wall, whoops. All right, actually, I'm gonna show you a cooler range than this, it's the, uh, the modular range. Let's do that. And uh, this, this has different like targets that pop up and it'll pop up like dynamically as to where you want them. Uh, and there's different like challenge modes and things. So you can see reflex intro one pistol. So uh, category reflex, difficulty easy. Capacity low. Let's do that with one of these pistols over here. Let's use this old school one. This is pretty sweet. I actually think my dad used to have a gun like this. It's freaking tiniest little caliber. Such an odd uh, cocking mechanism, but whatever. Begin sequence. So basically, uh, targets are gonna appear and uh, you gotta shoot them. It's pretty simple. Oh, quick draw. Oh shit, I didn't. I gotta give myself more ammo. Oh no, oh no. Unlimited ammo, there we go. Get it back in there. And some of the, uh, some of the more difficult levels, like you'll, you'll be able to use like assault rifles and stuff, and uh, it, it'll base it on how accurate you are, how fast you do it, and uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely enough to keep your uh, attention as you're trying out all these different guns. Like you can just switch it up. Uh, what's that? Okay, don't, that's what I was doing there. Quick belting them. But there's just a lot to do, and it, 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 it is entertaining to shoot all these different guns. Honestly, oh jeez, out of ammo. I didn't reload. I'm an idiot. Oh, I missed that one. Okay, so that's not the best. 
But yeah, I mean, I'm just a sucker for just putting different attachments on, on guns. But if you're, if you're kind of over that, then you can just do whatever you want. Let me show you one of the crazy uh, ordinances. We got thumpers, we got RPGs. Let's grab the machine gun. I'll show you this big boy. This guy's freaking sweet. Um, alrighty. That ammo box is too far out of reach. I don't want to deal with it. Okay. We got this. We got a fit. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, oh. Jesus H, man. This, my wrist has never been this bad. This is really bad floating around. Uh, th this game, at least, is pretty well optimized. And you have a couple of different, like, uh, grip options, so you can do like grab with your grip, grab with your trigger, uh, grab with a bunch of different stuff, and um, two four W J J J. Um, and yeah, it's, it's it's got a lot of different like movement options as well, so it's uh, it caters to everybody. And I was I don't know. Oh. Guessing I'm not supposed to shoot the reds. Whatever, I'll shoot them anyways. I don't give a damn. I have enough bullets for everybody. Jeez, my stomach just growled so much. I need food. All right, I don't need to reload this thing, you see? All right, one, two, buckle my shoe, bitch. Yeah, this is fucking cake, whatever. But yeah, it's just, it's just really, really fun. And for what they're asking and the fact that they have continued support, I think it's definitely worth you guys checking out. Hell, you can do Russian roulette. Check this, oh wait, how do you, sp um, there's a way to spin this. Yeah. Uh, ready? You gotta give it a spin. All right. Then you add, click that in there. You and your friends, you and your friends can play Russian roulette. Oh, I'm safe. Oh, safe again. Safe again. Safe again. Wow, that was pretty good there, honestly. I uh, don't know if you could throw stuff at it. But yeah, uh, that's been Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades, available for 20 bucks on Steam. Uh, I can touch Vive. Uh, I think it's definitely worth checking out. I think it's a lot of fun. And uh, it's an interesting concept that will maybe someday be implemented into some multiplayer uh, scenarios. So, all right, well, there you go. That was hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. Like I said, really, really cool uh, simulation. I'm a, a gun nut. I don't know all the specifics, but I do love going to shooting ranges, and I think it does a really accurate job of uh, making you feel present, and it makes you feel pretty cool to be able to actually interact with all these different uh, attachments and all the different uh, weapon types and things like that. So really cool game, definitely go check it out. Uh, I will have the link to that Steam page in the description below. Um, if it's your first time here, welcome back. Welcome back, what the fuck are you saying? Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to click this subscribe button right here to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest virtual reality stuff. Uh, if you're not completely sold on me yet, you can press either of those uh, videos or playlists, whatever I'm gonna put there. And I also got a third sensor, so I'm gonna be testing this out and uh, seeing how it works. So, catch you in the next one, guys.